Hi, welcome for our online training sessions, online trainings and placements. In this session, we are going to discuss about some important and regular questions which you will expect from the interviewer in human capital management. The concept is here, security profile. We know that it is one of the important concept in human capital management because uh, obviously when you are going to implement human capital management for your client, you are supposed to implement the security. The security comes with the combination of roles with the security profiles. In financials and supply chain management, that is a different because there we will have the uh, we will have the roles with the data access set we are going to use. But when it comes for the human capital management, we have separate concept called uh, security profiles. So what is security profile? That's a basic question, of course, that they will expect from the freshers' point of view. Security profile is basically whenever we wanted to provide the security for the data. It means when you want to include or exclude some data from the database. When I say include, the information will be populated to the employee. Exclude, the information will be hide for the employee. That's the difference. Okay, so it's up to the client how they wanted to go for include the data or exclude the data. In that scenario, we'll go for security profiles. Okay, what are the different security profiles we have? We have total uh, around 10 to 11 security profiles we have. Country security profile we have, document type, job requisition, LDZ, organization. It includes like business unit, department, legal entity, PSU. All the enterprise uh, organizations will find here. And payroll wise, we can restrict the data. Sometimes when you are trying to run the payroll, so legislative data group and some of the payroll, for example, employee login, he should run only one payroll. I don't want to give the permission to run another payroll. Generally, when we are doing the practice, the moment when we go to payroll flow, submit a flow, we'll get multiple payrolls, right? Even if you have created payroll, I'm also able to access because there is no security. So our security is not implemented over there. That's the reason we are not able to do that, right? So what we will do is here, we will try to perform the options here, uh, payroll security profile will create over here. And now we are going for uh, payroll flow person. Person, there are again two types, managed person and public person. This is also one of the important question. What is difference between the managed person security profile and public person security profile? Difference is very simple. Managed person security profile, identify the employees. You can perform actions against them. When we say actions, maybe transfer or global transfer, termination, promotions. This all comes under this uh, actions. So whoever is reporting to him or whoever is uh, uh, you are able to perform the actions, those information you can access. Then what about the public person? Public in the sense it's open. So public person security profile, identify the people you can search for in the worker directory. So whoever is available, uh, those all information will be displayed in your person management. Right. So this is a uh, uh, person, different types and position security profile, talent pool and transaction. We have total uh, 11 types. This, these are uh, total 11 types of security profiles we have. This transaction security profile recently introduced. Recently introduced this transaction security profile. Whenever we perform some transaction, if you would like to go for maintain the security for that particular transaction, then we will be using this transaction security profile. Make sure that all these uh, uh, security profiles must be on your uh, fingertips because it's as a functional consultant. Of course, even you are a technical also, you are supposed to be clear how the security will be applied. Obviously, when we are working in the supporting project, there will they, they will raise the ticket that when user is logged in and he is not able to see this record. We have to check which role has been assigned for this user, which security profile is associated with that role. This is all information we are supposed to verify, right? So that's how we will work with this, okay? So this is a first question. What are the different security profiles we have and we are supposed to explain, okay? What are the... Uh, security profiles you have created in your project, they may ask us. We have to say that, yes, I worked with the security profile. Organization security profile, it is very common. Generally, we will be using when we are working in the project. Then country security profile, payroll security profile, obviously required. And also the transaction security profile and position. These are regular uses. Regularly, we are supposed to use. And when we are working for document of records, a DOR, 
that time we are supposed to use the document type of uh, security profiles okay then can we assign these security profiles directly this is another question they will be asking us we can't assign security profile directly to the user it's not possible we must combine with the job role and we will have to make it as a data role and then we have to go for assign this data role to the user that's how we are supposed to do it so if not direct what will be the procedure you are telling that i can't assign the security profile directly to the user okay that's fine then what is the process i would like to apply this security profile to the user how you can do that so it's a, it's very common it's a standard procedure whenever we are working with security profile first we have to choose the role name job role whatever we have for example human resource specialist is there most of the times that will be the used in our uh, uh, projects if at all custom role is there of course we can go for create custom role or we can copy this human resource specialist role we can straight away tell that we'll copy human resource specialist role after copying then we'll go for create uh, security profiles and we are supposed to use built in uh, security profiles predefined for example client is telling that i don't want to restrict uh, the data based on the country you, when user login he can view other all, all the country's data then what we have to do is we have to use existing security profile called view all countries view all document types and view all organizations view all payrolls this finally whenever we are defining the data role the system will ask us first select your job role first then we will go for selecting the security profiles all these 11 security profiles we have to choose it's mandatory if you say i don't have a requirement to restrict the data at ldz level or any other uh, country level or any other uh, uh, transactions wise but still we are supposed to use view all view all security profile so we have to choose those security profiles and after that data role is created then we are supposed to provide data role provisioning rules why we require role provisioning rules what we will mention in this it's very simple whenever we are working with any custom roles we are supposed to mention role provisioning it means to whom we can assign this particular role what is the role and uh, to whom we can assign of course we can go for restrict yes this role can be assigned for only this department this role can be assigned only for this particular department or this business unit or this legal employer like that we can go for associate this particular role so whenever we are creating the role provisioning role if we don't mention any uh, condition then obviously we can assign that particular role to the all employees okay we will have a flexibility also let me show you that particular task also so that you can easily recognize when we are attending for the interviews for example when you are explaining some task for example right now we are talking about role provisioning rules we must be very clear uh, the fields uh, that that should come automatically that entire image should come into our mind how it is possible like uh, how we can remember many people will be asking uh, me in my placement batch how we have to remember sir all these options i can say simply uh, every day the moment when you start the day let's do the implementation don't forget forget about the calls that calls will come today or tomorrow or next week or next month or maybe after three months it doesn't matter it's not there in our hand right so whether the market is or uh, calls are not coming instead of that what we have to do is we believed the technology we we have to adapt the technology into our mind so what we have to do is every day we have to complete implementation for example global hr payroll options and talent management four modules we are applying for a job all these four modules every day today okay let's implement global hr tomorrow payroll implementation day after tomorrow options and talent every three days again fourth day again start with global hr it takes one hour time so that what will happen you can easily remember those particular images into your mind when you are explaining uh, the explanation can be extended and you can easily interact with the interviewer also let me show you here role provisioning rule set so whenever you go for role provisioning rule when you open this task it will ask you to enter the role name and the effective date and then criteria like uh, which legal employer which business unit job position employees you want to go for assign this then it will ask us the name of the role then it will ask you whether this role is automatic assign or requestable or it is uh, self requestable this check boxes will be there how i am able to tell that fields because number of times we will be practicing it's not a racket science it's how you are going to do the practice many people that i have done already employee setup i created multiple legal entities business yes you did last week 
but this week again you have to do it so when we start putting the profile in the naukri or any any job site after that every day we have to do this entire our uh, uh, class uh, classes whatever we have done in our rtl you, you have to go for practice okay so that everything will be on our uh, mind and you will have a confidence level your confidence level will be very high okay so whenever uh, if possible when you are doing some task try to give some demo uh, in the sense uh, uh, instead of just doing the practice okay uh, i'm going to create now security profile first we'll go for define the rule let's go to create define the role mapping so this will make us perfect our communication and the flow will come automatically so when the interviewer when the, they ask the question the way you explanation will be like an experienced consultant okay see this is our uh, mapping name from date and uh, to date these are the conditions legal employer be your job position you can restrict your role name and you can choose your role name see delegation is allowed requestable self requestable and auto provision auto provision means what happened your role will be automatically assigned to all the employees the moment uh, when you hire uh, and then or uh, self requestable and requestable means you can go for add from security profile that that will be added delegation allowed is nothing but in case of the options like we have a concept called vacation rules vacation rule means if employee is on vacation what he can do is if it is mandatory uh, any approvals may be pending uh, in that time what he can do is he can go for delegate the role or reassign the role to someone else okay so th that's that we can go for any users who have the role or can provision it can delegate it to other users they can uh, root divert or attach temporarily for them here it is okay so this is about the procedure what we will do it can we write a custom sql query and restrict the data in security profile if so how so we just now we discussed what are the different types of security profiles we have total 11 types of security profiles here okay now client is telling that i just wanted to define some security profile based on some sql query because none of these security profiles are not satisfying my requirement i would like to fetch some customized data from database i just wanted to show that data to my employees when they log in okay so this uh, security profiles object wise organization wise you can go for uh, uh, restrict the data then we will be able to find this organizations wise data and we will be able to find it so when this it comes as an sql query in sql query we can write a valid uh, sql query by using hcm tables and we can go for apply that in that scenario what we have to do is we are supposed to use this person security profile let me show you let me open this particular page uh, let me go for cancel it here and then go to the security profile called person security profile manage person security profile here also we can go ahead with this person security profile directly we can navigate here so the moment when you go for create person security profile go down there is an option these are all uh, built-in uh, criteria which is provided by oracle okay so you can go for restrict based on the area of responsibility and uh, manager hierarchy and person types based on the department secure by business unit based on the names range also you can restrict and you can also go for exclusion rules you can go for provide but if you say that i'm not able to find uh, any of these things are going to satisfy my requirement it's completely different then what we will do is we have to go with custom criteria check this checkbox secure by custom criteria you can start writing the sql query here and then you can go for validate so whatever the query you have written and based on that query result that's going to be populated the data is going to be populated for our data here so that click validate button then it will show us whether it's validated or not okay so this is about the person security profile which we have or uh, there we have the option called custom criteria here we will be able to write sql queries okay so these are uh, regular questions uh, which we will expect in the interviews point of view cust uh, security profiles in fact we will we can also specify in our profile that i have completely involved in the security profile creations as well as the roles and securities 
and sql query it's very rare case but just have an idea okay because when we talk about yes i have written sql queries they they'll say that are you flexible with sql if you are good in sql then it's okay fine and then obviously you should be very clear with the hcm tables like per all people have per all assignments and per underscore jobs this all tables and also when we are writing sql queries in human capital management we should take care of the day track day track also we have to be very careful it means the record is effective date from effective to date uh, these all things we have to be very clear okay when we say that yes i have written sql query uh, for some of the security profile uh, for some of the requirements then we should be very clear for that okay so this is about uh, the security profile uh, uh, interview point of view what they last and you can go for prepare this then it will be a uh, very good uh, discussion with the interviewer thank you please subscribe for our uh, channel to get the latest updates about uh, rtl cloud and uh, please share to someone who are in our oracle cloud control in this area okay thank you